Hi, this is Orlando from Skin Guitars in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. In this video, we're going to attach the neck of our electroacoustic guitar to the body. And we're going to do it in an unconventional way. And well, you guys have to see the video and make your minds up to see what you think. Okay, see you there. First of all, we need to get the truss rod channel dug out. It's a bit embarrassing to admit this, but I made a little jig to do this when I could have used a simple attachment that came with a router. I became aware of this much simpler method after seeing several GBO 2022 builds. Lesson learnt. I also had to do a bit of digging by hand as I like a tight fitting truss rod so it doesn't rattle. Next order of business was trimming and straightening the tip of the neck. Now we route the actual neck pocket. The great thing is, I didn't need to make a template just attaching two straight edges to guide the router and disaster strikes. My cheapo router played its favorite trick, which is slip in its sleeve and do a deeper cut than intended. I stopped and taped the sleeve in. I actually usually do this. Finish the route and set about fixing the mistake. Basically making a plug for the hole and gluing it in with super glue. Now for the unconventional bit. It's a 12 stringer, so I want a really solid connection with the body. The neck pocket is more of a sleeve, so I decided to bolt the neck in as well. So I'm drilling the neck and I'll glue some threaded inserts into the body, which is quite soft and wouldn't hold up so well with just plain screws. Next is cutting the hand axis. I want it to be super comfortable, so everything is getting as thin and as rounded as I dare make it.
Next, I need to bring the neck down three millimeters in the spots where the top plate is getting glued in so that it sits nice and flush. And now to glue the neck. The pocket isn't quite as precise as I'd like, but I'm not worried. I'm shimming the neck up with some thin imbuya strips and making sure the gaps on the sides are filled with a glue, sawdust and black dye mixture. In the end, every gap is filled and packed tight. Because it's screwed in, no need for clamping. The end result is bomb proof, trust me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.